Now, North Korea has officially described the latest missiles it launched on Saturday as, quote, a new weapon system that has a tactical character different from the regime's existing weapon systems. Experts say the North's latest weapons actually resemble tactical missile systems used by the U.S. military. Kim Hyo-sun with this report. North Korea say a run Korean Central News Agency released on Sunday photographs of the new weapons the regime tested a day earlier. The missile launched on August 10th from the north's northeastern city of Hamung showed similar traits to the U.S. Army's tactical missile system known as ATACIMS. They are also similar in that they can carry two missiles per launcher load. While the range of ATACIMS is 300 kilometers, Pyongyang's new tactical weapon flew over 400 kilometers at an apogee of around 48 kilometers at a maximum speed of more than Mach 6.1. Following the launch, Chairman Kim expressed great satisfaction that the new weapons have been successfully developed. North Korea has now showcased three new weapons, including short-range ballistic missiles assessed to be KN-23, a modified version of a Russian Iskander missile, as well as what the regime described as a newly developed, large-caliber, multiple rocket launcher system. North Korea is now capable of targeting major industrial facilities more precisely. Experts say the development is part of the regime's efforts to shift its current liquid-fueled conventional missiles to solid-fuel engine missiles. Solid-fuel missiles are more suitable for surprise attacks, and their launchers can store missiles for longer. The launches are part of the regime's protest against the ongoing Seoul Washington military drills, and it has signaled that more launches could follow until the drills wrap up on August 20th. Kim Hyo-san, Arirang News. Iran has expressed its hope South Korea will not join a U.S.-led military coalition for maritime security in the Strait of Hormuz. This is according to an Iranian foreign ministry spokesperson in an interview with Seoul-based Yonhap News Agency, which came after defense talks were held between Seoul and Washington last Friday. During that meeting, U.S. Defense Secretary Mark Esper asked for Seoul's cooperation to ensure freedom of navigation in the Straits. This is the first time Iran has mentioned South Korea regarding the matter, asking it to take a neutral stance as it doesn't want their good ties to sour.